Hey guys, and welcome to a leg day video. I have not done one of these in quite a while, um, but now my legs are in a state where I'm actually happy with how they look compared to the rest of my body, and I've regained a lot back since lockdown, so I figured I'd show you one of my workouts. Um, this workout is from my coach Chris. I kind of got to a point with my leg workouts where I'd run out of ideas. Um, I was kind of getting a bit bored of my leg training and I just wanted something really intense and short to hit my legs quickly because a lot of my leg sessions were taking two plus hours and then it just takes so much time out of your day and honestly a lot of the time I wasn't even getting that great doms from it. Um, you know, I kind of felt like I wasn't progressing much, my strength wasn't going up much. So uh, this workout is so much more intense, um, nice and short, you get it done within an hour. Uh, there's not much to it, it's just the intensity of it. So the first exercise is quite simply five straight sets of leg extensions for 20 reps. But you only have 45 seconds rest between each set. Um, and my God, th just this small detail makes it so difficult. Um, the first two rounds aren't too bad, um, but then after that you get a, such an insane pump in your legs um, and you know, you're just repping out, repping out, repping out. So you're getting 100 reps of leg extension pre-exhaust to start the, the session off and it starts off with a bang. Like if you're not ready for this, it, it hits you hard. Um, so in, we, me and Reese are just jumping in and out of this. Um, the rest is slightly longer than 45 seconds but it still gets really difficult. Um, so you can see my legs have definitely improved a decent amount and I think they're actually catching up to and overtaking Reese's leg size. For once, I'm ca like Reese has always beaten me on legs, really good at heavy squats, deadlifts, but I've been training pure bodybuilding style for my legs for the last couple months and they've definitely packed on a lot of size. Um, I'm gonna do a transformation video next week to show just how much I've changed. Um, but yeah, things are going really well. So give this workout a try because this style of training is just intense. Um, I do cut out some of the rest periods in a minute so that you're not watching this for eternity. But while we do, I'm gonna just talk about my uh, cycle and my diet for leg days, which my coach has adjusted. So my cycle now is just 200 milligrams of test, 300 milligrams of prima bolin. This is because I've been on trend for quite a while. I'm not actually doing a contest, so there's no need to stay on trend. We're just taking Primo to make sure that I maintain some muscle mass and probably still gain muscle mass. My genetics seem to be that I can grow quite easily um, and dry me out as well with the Primo. And the, the dry and veinous doesn't really show in this video, but in some upper body training I'll do later, um, you can like the vascularity I'm getting is nuts, and hopefully that'll come into my legs with leg separation and dryness as well soon. Um, so yeah, diet wise, um, my leg day diet has been adjusted. So on leg days now I get more carbs. So I'm having up to 370 grams of carbs on leg day in a deficit, um, or in, on a cut even. And I'm still losing body fat eating that much. So two days a week I get 370 grams of carbs. The other days of the week I'm getting 260-ish grams of carbs. Um, but getting these extra leg day carbs have resulted in my other workouts, getting better pumps, um, feeling stronger, and my body fat is still going down. So, you know, sometimes upping the food is just as good for a cut as reducing it too much. And me and Chris are just really trying to push the limit of how much clean food I can eat before I start to gain fat. Um, and I think we're closely getting to the balancing point now because I'm having two higher carb days a week, five uh, sort of lower carb days a week. I'm only training five sessions a week, um, but I'm making sure I get my cardio in. Um, everything's just going on point and I'm sticking closer and closer to the plan as the weeks go on because I really wanna just push and see how good I can possibly look. And I think right now I've definitely got the best proportions I've ever had and I'm almost the leanest I've ever been as well. So give me a couple more weeks and I'm just gonna keep dropping that body fat down, getting leaner and leaner, um, and adding more size. Uh, like, when, when I do this comparison picture next video, um, you'll see just how much mass I've managed to add in three months while also dropping over 10 kilos of body fat. 
Um, my body just responds very well to steroids when I do the proper training and the proper diet. I've just really lacked consistency in the last couple of years, down to a lot of mental things, stress, depression, um, like they're all excuses, but I mean, that's why I haven't reached the level I've been able to right now. And this is just the start. I've only had my head in it properly for five or six weeks, um, like doing things really spot on. So give me five or six months of doing stuff spot on and being on track and being consistent and not falling off the wagon. Um, I'm just gonna smash it. Uh, and I feel like I'm just in such a better position now with where I live, with my training setup, with my coach now what I've got is just perfect. Um, so I know that unless something disastrous happens like I break both my legs, I'm gonna keep pushing and progressing. And you can see now I'm suffering like hell at the end of this and my legs have gone to absolute jelly. These 100 reps to start is brutal. So after the leg extensions, already got a massive pump. We quickly went over to the leg press, probably only had two minutes rest setting it up and then got straight into the leg press. So we did three sets of 10 reps pyramiding up and the idea is you just keep pyramiding up um, until we hit a weight where 10 reps is pretty much absolute failure. Then we rest for 30 seconds, drop set, another 10 reps, rest 30 seconds, and finally drop set for another 10 reps. It's only three sets, but the sets are heavy, um, progressing in intensity each session, and just getting heavier and heavier, and then the drop set at the end just really finishes you off. But you can see how we're getting in and out of this leg press that we're already pumped up and sore. Um, so we're going for low close feet to start off with, or at least I was, because I'm really trying to focus on that outer quad sweep, build it up as much as possible to get that, that nice look lines from the front and just build that width to the quad. Um, then as the sets get heavier, I'm moving my feet slightly further apart on the pad, still keeping them low for quad focus, but pushing them further apart to get a little bit more hip engagement, um, and just as the weight gets heavier, just to have that stability. Having your feet too close together with a heavy press movement, your knees are more likely to cave inwards and you're just gonna, you're more likely to injure yourself. So as I got heavier, I went slightly wider just for the stability. Um, it hits less of the outer quad and more of the inner quad, but it's still gonna work your whole leg. Um, and even doing leg press like this, I got some glute doms, even though it's really not glute focused at all. Um, just the weight of it and you know controlling the weight down. I feel like my leg press technique's a lot better than it used to be. Um, I don't rush my rep so much and I try and not lock out a rep ever. So you can see my knees are rarely locking out when they can. Just keeps tension on the muscle the entire time um, and just works the muscles harder. If you lock out on a lot of movements, you're just going to, um, you're, you're missing out on half of it basically. Or not, you're not missing out but you're making it easier for yourself. So you can see this final set, I went wider because it's the heaviest yet. I think we've got six plates per side. Um, we drop three plates at a time, um, rest 30 seconds, and then get straight back into it for another 10 reps. So you can see I'm controlling the weight down, going nice and deep, pressing up, getting a little bit of lockout on some of these heavier ones, but for the most part, I'm trying to keep my knees bent so that at least the tension stays on the quads even when I'm resting and getting a breath. Just little details like this just make the exercise much more hard. Uh, then you can see I've just got my phone out there to time it. Um, but yeah, from this angle, you can see my back has really leaned out. My arms and my shoulders um, have got like the striations and separations coming through now. And I'm still 10% body fat at least, I reckon, maybe even 11. So I've still got a good amount of body fat to lose. Um, and you know, every pound I seem to drop, I'm just looking totally different. Um, so in another couple months, once I've dropped a few more kilos of body fat, I'm really gonna hopefully have a look that's quite impressive. I know I've got the genetics too. Um, I've just never had that consistency. Um, and Chris is, a, Chris is just a perfect coach for me. He's really keeping me on track. He knows his stuff and he's giving me a diet that's sustainable where I'm actually able to grow gradually while cutting. He's not giving me too low calories and done a reckless cut. Um, the coach I had previously definitely put me on way too low calories for my contest prep. And it might be because I entered it you know, a bit too close to the contest and rushed things a bit. But this method I'm using now is so much better. I'm eating a lot more food. 
Um, I'm doing less cardio than I was, I'm doing less training than I was, but it's more intense and the fat is dropping off. You know, I was just eating way too little before uh, in terms of carbohydrates and healthy fats. I was getting my protein in, but just because I wasn't getting enough calories in in general, um, my metabolism was going through the floor and I was hindering my fat loss and muscle growth. And this is definitely the most calories I've ever eaten on a cut. Um, and I think it's just, it's really showing that I'm changing like video to video, I feel like I'm looking better and better. So those leg presses were pretty brutal and it was the heaviest part of the workout. Then on to split squats. Now after all the quad work we've done so far, this is only 10 kilos a side, but it is hard, like proper hard. Um, so we did three sets of 10 on these, pyramiding up in weight. So I add an extra 10 kilos each set and by the last set I just I only managed eight reps I think it was really difficult um, you can see from this as well that my calves have improved I have been training them a lot and I will be doing a calf training video at some point I want them to get a little bit leaner first um, so you can see the amount of mass I've actually added because as they lean down my calves are definitely looking bigger and fuller and I'm starting to get like that split up the middle of the calves and down the side of my calves as well. You can see the, the layers of muscle showing more clearly. So I'm really um, excited to see just how much I can grow them because they are definitely my weakest body part and need the most work. So again, with the locking out at the top here, you can see the difference between me and Reese here. He's locking out for quite a while, whereas you can see on my set, I was sort of pulsing. I was making sure I wasn't really locking out or pausing. I was really just trying to make the set as intense as possible. Now, to be fair, this is um, the second time I've done this session, so my body was sort of more used to it, and I wasn't struggling so much with the cardio aspect or the pump. I was able to deal with it, which is probably why Reese is locking out and I'm not, so you can see in mine. I'm trying to control the weight down more, pump up, don't only lock out for like a fraction of a second most of the time, or keep my knees slightly bent just to keep the tension on the muscle. Um, this just makes it another level of difficult. Um, so if you want to, uh, like make proper progress just little changes like this is what I've been working on with my legs just to make sure that I actually train properly get good progression in um, and yeah the, my weights this session were up on everything including the leg extension so definitely making good progress and finally we finished the workout on sissy squats so the whole workout only has four exercises but believe you me it ruins you in those four exercises. So I've never really done much sissy squats before. I didn't really get on with them too well, but they still gave me a crazy pump at the end of this workout. So I, my gym does not have a sissy squat machine. So Reese had this cool idea to improvise, um, put a bar over a rack, and then just put some weight plates in front of you to count and weight your body weight. So you can actually sit back into it without falling over and you've got yourself a sissy squat. So it's a nice sort of DIY way, way to do it because not every gym will have one, especially commercial ones. Um, so the idea of this was we were meant to do 10 full reps and then 10 partial reps at the bottom. But those 10 partial reps at the bottom after what we'd done so far were just impossibly difficult um, and neither of us could manage it. So we just went to pretty much failure. Um, but you can see here my quads have definitely got a lot leaner. I'm just trying to build that mass, like white width ways, um, and just by doing a lot of close, uh, like leg extension, close leg press, and they are coming on nicely. It's just going to take a couple months to get them to the size I want them to be, um, but they they are growing, like, and it, they're probably progressing faster than most of my other body parts. So I am happy with how things are going. Um, just slow and steady, and just trying to make sure that each session I make my legs even harder and harder, um, you know, add in more sets, add in more reps, more supersets, more intensity. Um, so I'll be following a lot more of Chris's leg workouts because although he doesn't have the best legs anymore, he, when he was younger, he used to have some fucking huge legs. He knows how to train his legs with serious intensity. He's just had some injuries and with old age, um, it's a lot harder to bring back that mass on your legs than somebody like me who's 20 years younger than him. Um, he did actually say to me from the progress pictures and stuff that I've given him, he's never seen anyone in his career progress as fast as I have, um, which has given me even more motivation to push. And I believe him as well. I know I've had pretty decent genetics and I can change my body pretty fast. 
but to say it's the fastest he's ever seen someone change and honestly I've not even been 100% committed I've been like 90% committed so once I add the extra 10% over the next few months things should just get really nutty um, but I think from the side you can see that my legs have developed a lot more and you can see that quad sweep muscle is improving um, I just need to build up even more my hamstrings have improved a ton um, especially if my body fat drops now I'm getting much more uh, like it's sort of just hanging off from the bottom you can see it there the hamstrings have improved a lot this is from sumo deadlifts loads of pre-exhaust hamstring curls walking lunges I'll do um, a hamstring workout again soon because Chris has given me some intense ones but overall things are going great um, I'm really happy with how I'm developing and I've got lots of other good videos to show you and as things come up to Christmas I'll be getting closer and closer to uh, stage level body fats and then we can see where needs improving the most um, and we're just going to pretty much lean bulk into a show next year sometime before my wedding so this is a double whammy I get to finally do a contest I know it's been years in the making and I'm going to look the best possible I can for my wedding I just bought my wedding suit as well I might show that off in a video it needs some tailoring but I think it looks pretty fresh um, so yeah, lots of good stuff to come, um, my life is just getting exciting, with, you know, marriage coming up, lockdowns ending, Christmas is coming, I turn 28 in two weeks, um, I'm going to do a cheat day um, and I'm going to try and do the 10,000 calorie challenge, so there's lots of fun stuff to look forward to and I'm going to keep making videos and I'm trying to keep making them better, so thanks for you guys who stuck around and carried on watching me, follow my Instagram, Finbars Fitness or Finbar Hawks one even, that's my main account. Um, I post pretty much daily on Instagram, it's just YouTube videos take a bit more effort to produce and I'm trying to not just refeed you the same old shit I've posted every time. So hopefully everything I post from now on will be something that you've not necessarily seen from me before and I've definitely not shown off a quad workout quite like this. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, it might give you some ideas to try something different. Definitely that five sets of leg extensions to start with the 45 seconds rest to give that a go because it's gnarly honestly start your workout with that um, and see how you feel afterwards and let me know in the comments how you felt because it's a tough one anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time